Rollin', 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 keep them doggies. Hey, but guys, welcome to CJ's first cooking show. I don't think I'm in focus. That's all right, no one really watches this show anyway. <laughs> sure. I think it's one of those days, Nate. One of what days? It's a day to cook some breakfast. Don't tell the viewers, I've never made an omelet. <laughs> Are you being serious? Yeah. So you're gonna do an episode of CJ's first cooking show, cooking something you've never done before. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a great one, guys. We're gonna go ahead and jump right in, but before we do that, be sure to like, subscribe, get the notifications so you can get all of the notifications and emails and text messages when my show comes on. Okay. Hey, also, by the way, side yeah. note, fun little snippet here. Normally, when we start the show, I ring it and bring it, right? If this is your first time watching, that's what we do. Well, we had some fans that sent me a little video, and they... Aw, welcome to the show. They wanted to ring it and bring it, so I'm gonna let them do that right now. CJ, it's time to ring it and bring it. Cheers! That was great. perfect. All right, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna ring it to that. Wait, you're doing it again? That's oh, a little redundant. It. It's a redundant ring. A redundant ring. Hey, dude, let's get right into it. Today, behind me, we are cooking on my tried and true oh, 36 the inch She's a air beaut, fryer. Clark. It's a beaut, Clark. It's a now you see I've got a saucepan over here. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that in just a second. But before we do, let's get cruising. Today I'm gonna be doing a Southwest omelet. Aww. That's what I'm calling it. Uh, it's a Southwest omelet because starting of- Starting with them sausages. All of the beautiful things that I'm gonna load up into it. Yes, and we are starting with these sausages. Uh, normally- How long are them sausages, CJ? <laughs> two minutes. What's happening with those sausages, Charlie? Come and eat I had a fun idea with these based Ooh. on the symmetry and the geometrical sizing of... You are geometrically sensitive. I've been told that. If I had a nickel, every time I've been told that. I'll say you might get for a nickel. <laughs> okay, uh, so I've got some sausages over here. Uh, I'm gonna do four. You don't need to. I'm gonna immediately flip these because they've had just a second to get a little bit of the, the heat done to them. Oh, that's that... a good trick. Are you doing the smash trick? Yes. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Because if you try to do this and smash it uh, right away, you're gonna have a problem with sticking, but if you let it heat up just a second, you can Look smash it, it with with no problem whatsoever. Looky there. Yeah, and this is just going to give me more surface area, help us cook a little quicker. Honestly, these are super, super simple, so there's only a couple steps that take that a hot minute. good already. So this is one you don't have to do, but I like to add a little crisp with my omelet that I've never garnish. made. A little garnish? Yeah. Uh, I was thinking- <laughs> With my of... omelet that I've never made. <laughs> so I've got some uh, little street tortillas here. You'll notice that Definitely these are corn. corn. Yeah, definitely not flour, which... <laughs> this is actually more than enough. Yeah, you just want but a little crispy, crunchy. Like, I'm gonna, I've got my buttery. saucepan right over here and I put some olive oil in it that's been preheating and uh, we're just gonna throw in some of those guys all right. and let them crisp up. I think that that's probably... Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna just do them all. Whoa! Man down. Whoa, danger, Will Ooh. Robinson. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. I've got some green and some red bell peppers. Now, I've shown this trick before. I came up with this wicked little trick sure on, did. in my days on the road cooking. Yeah, you did. So basically you cut off the top and the bottom and you find yourself a little bell pepper canal, slide your knife right through it, and this is the de-pithing process. Yeah. A little pissed off bell pepper. And you just get your knife, slide it through, and you just start rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Rolling with the homie. Oh. Rolling with the homie. Yeah, let's do it. Now with our green and red bell peppers, you're just going to pretty much follow that same process and we're gonna cut these into small little diced up bites. The smaller the better kind of for the omelet because you wanna have an equal distribution of both of those. After that, we're gonna move on to our yellow onion. You know me, I'm a yellow onion kind of guy. Uh, so I'm gonna do the same thing to that, I'm going to dice that up, get it really small little pieces so I can distribute that as well. After that, um, I'm going to grab my jalapenos, but. I think for this, I have a different idea. I'm going to slice these into those little rings. Like, what do you call them? Pinwheels? Oh, yeah. Like little pinwheels? Sure. Or rings. Rings, wheels, whatever. That's what I'm gonna do there with those. Oh, and, and while we are slicing up our ingredients, cannot forget my sausage, because I don't want to do a bacon situation. But yeah, gotta cut that. Uh, and the last thing that I'm gonna be cutting up is an avocado. This is gonna specifically be for garnish. So I'm gonna, I don't even know what, I guess it would be just these little slices of avocado. This is what I'm doing. Beautiful. I don't they're know. Beautiful. They're, 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 they're beautiful. I used the quote already. 
It's a beaut It's clock. a beaut clock. <laughs> <laughs> but that pretty much takes care of all of our ingredients that we need to slice up. Now, um, let's go ahead and start getting our eggs ready. Now, the amount of eggs that you want to use, I guess it's really up to you depending on how many omelets you're going to be making. I am going to do, I'm going to do four eggs because I don't really know. Got my mixing bowl here. One-handed pro moves. What? What? Take it easy. I know. Um, I know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was so I great. swear you cursed that me. Was so great. Dude, like on the last episode, How you're much like, is in there? you're like, hey, CJ. No, there's you know no what? shell. Whoa. No shell. Did your yolk not even break? Nope. How do you destroy an egg and still maintain your yolk integrity? I've got a special <laughs> gift. I've got that shun. That shin. You just use that shin of yours. You've got to ring it and bring it because I'm, oh, I'm yeah. dying over here. These flies are eating. Yeah. I'm it's dying. Like, that is oh, I can't use that, can I? It's true. No, no. but I certainly can't use the. Clip. What do you mean you don't tip? Ooh, 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 ooh. You use that one. Missed the pink. What do you mean you don't tip? They don't believe in it. Shut up. You're looking good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ooh, that is. So we're just looking for some crisp. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pull these guys out. Ooh, it looks like I've got one giant crisp in there. If it's all connected, it it's counts as one, one chip. One chip. One nacho. <laughs> if you get. The nachos stuck together, that's one nacho. All right, so grab ourselves a paper towel. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Dude, look at that. Hello, crispy little little friends in a liquid broth. Crunchy friends in a liquid broth. I think I'm going to go ahead and slide my sausages. Give them one flip. I'm going to slide them off to the side over here. Actually, I do not need either one of those. Yep. And... <gasps> I've never done that before. <laughs> I've All done. three. We're, we're fine. We're, we're good. good. We're good. That's like we're good. Is that the equivalent of burning bacon <laughs> for sausage? You it's burn the bacon and you toss the sausage. <laughs> this recipe is going swimming. So, away. so well. All right, so getting rid of the flies. I've got my eggs over here. I'm gonna season them up just a little bit with some kosher salt and some coarse ground black pepper and give them a whisk. Let's scoot on. We're we're we're, we're there. We're we're there, man. We're there, dude. And to do this today, oh we've got yeah, the new extra large Blackstone egg ring. That's ah, awesome. This pretty. thing's cool. Oh, yeah, put a, yeah put it is. A little halo on that All angle. Right. So I've got my griddle set Ooh, on in low. In the sausage fat. In the sausage. Look fat. at you. You know, um, that's a seasoned veteran chef move there. Yeah. I suppose. And if you haven't realized it yet, that's what CJ is. Okay. Now this next part, guys, we're gonna have to scoot because I cannot. Go, go quick. Nice. I do not want to burn. Get it all to the, yeah. Okay. All right. All right, now I'm moving here. You stay there. You I'm guys just oh, stay there. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna here. grab a handful of some bell peppers and some onions. Oh, we're going Christmas. I've got some rinsed or washed or showered black beans. <laughs> showered beans. <laughs> yeah. Then. Hey, beautiful little ringlets. Right. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do with the sausage. Go. Okay, we're, we're in business. Okay. Grab a yeah. piece of sausage, and I'm gonna. All right. Set them in here. Well, half so moons. My little, my you know geometry was my favorite. Okay, last thing to do here. Okay, so. Yeah, buddy, and I'm gonna load it on because I feel like I should. I'm gonna need more than that. That was that was. So, <laughs> that was. That was a light a light. That was a dust light dusting, and I feel like I even need a little bit more. Wow. I'm gonna do a little bit of seasoning in oh, here. Oh yes, you are. We've got are. some of our new hatch chili and cheddar. I'm gonna give this a mid dusting. This is gorgeous. Thank you. And I'm gonna do a little bit of our blackstone taco fajita. Dang. Because speaking I, of double dipping, I really cross like cross pollinating. I really like this southwestern flavor that I'm going for. Now, Ethan, <laughs> when do I flip? Dude? I have no clue. <laughs> I know. Neither do <laughs> I. Uh, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna flip. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. Come on. Come All right, on. Hold on. Hold on. You're just gonna. I'm, I'm nervous, man. <laughs> okay. Beauty. All right. So I'm gonna get that. Set that down. Ooh. I got some running eggs there. Give it a second. Yeah. I think I'm gonna let that hang out for just another moment. I don't mind a good crisp bottom. No. You know what we should do right now? What? Ring it and bring it. Okay. All right. Oh. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. 
the prince's bride. All right, it's been like, I don't know. 30 seconds? Yeah, really, really quick. Uh, you can see that my egg stopped running there on the side. We're gonna, uh, whoa, whoa. We're gonna, come on. Okay, here we go. Just gotta commit. Oh, oh commit, no. commit. Gotta commit, gotta keep committing. You're an idiot. That, that's not good. <laughs> I'm not happy. Oh, that's not good. I'm not happy. Here's how we're gonna fix this. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Hey. <gasps> All right. That was close. <laughs> okay. That did not turn out like I thought. Here's my theory. I put too much stuff in there. Yeah. Well, duh. Now, since that is pretty much almost done. It's got another, just another second. Let's get ready to plate it up, huh? Let's do it. Let's do it. Bro, the flies. This is like, honestly, like out of control. Like that R.R. Tolkien wrote them Lord of the Flies movies. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> no one's ever called you R.R. though. Well, for the commercial, it's kind of like that R.R. Tolkien, the guy who made those Lord of the Flies movies. I don't even know how to go anywhere else after that <laughs> reference. That was, that was freaking awesome. Okay, my... No, what? No. I don't have my plate. I set it out for you. <laughs> it's a lot of brown and brown. See it, saying. Right. Yeah, there he goes! There he goes! Dang it! So embarrassing. The spanner! Go to the spanner com to hear whoa, from me and just whoa. it's the spanner dot com. Whoa, whoa. You're not taking the plate to the omelet? No. I'm going to bring an omelet. The largest omelet ever. That's a big four egg omelet. Yes, I get down on that. So for my first level of garnish, I'm going to do some green. You totally wanted to put that in the mix, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> and you knew. I really, I love the green chili. Then I think the next thing I'm going to do is... Avocado. Avocado. Okay. All right. A little fan. A little, little bit of fanning. A little Dakota fanning on there. <laughs> and I'm gonna die of botulism from the germs of that gunky towel, you tree-loving hippie. Obviously, I've got to do a little post dusting with some cheese. Okay. Did we have some cilantro? Yeah, we do. And that's what's coming next. And then the last thing, we grab the oh, tortilla bon strips because I do like some. How crisp. crunchy are those? Do they come Dude, out real, real yeah. crunchy? Here, let's see. Up here. Huh. Perfect. <laughs> gonna grab this. Get a little height. Mm-hmm. Oh, dang, I like that, dude. I'm gonna give this just kind of one of the whole Dude, you need something red. Yeah, I know. I've got some delicious Cholula here. Do a little drizzling of some sort. Wow. Dude, this, and is, then, a, this is a beast. Because I like to. Post dust, I We got a post dust. This is good looking. There we go, we're done. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. Did I miss something? It looks good. Okay, let's eat it. Okay, dude, I think I'm gonna get into this, man. All right. Wanted to make sure I got. Hefty pieces. Oh, crispy sausage. cheese on the side. Ooh. A little bit more. The post hot sauce. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. At least it's not Taco Bell hot sauce. I thought about it. <laughs> I really feel like that crispy cheese on the outside. That's that's a winner. Mm. And <laughs> you go, you go, you gonna pull a Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Very, very delicious. Oh, that's good. Bro, that is so good. All right, I covered all the bases that I wanted to with this Southwest uh, omelet. The, the bell peppers and the onions, obviously that works with those flavors, but the seasonings went all freaking berserk, amazing. And the crispy, I forgot oh, yeah. the crispy. Hello, crispy. Ooh, good idea, check this out. Where are you going? What? 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 You can make like little ones. Oh. And make a bed? Yeah. This would actually be something elevated for your lame show. Oops. <laughs> lame show. Hey, speaking of lame. <laughs> Is it that time? I think it's that time. Ladies and gentlemen, let us commence with CJ's favorite comments of the week. From impressive to obsessive, a little spice and the not so nice, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. All right, guys, if this is your first time getting to this part of the show, uh, this is the segment in which I screenshot comments that you, the viewers, have left on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Oh, you write whatever. them, you read them. You do write them. We definitely read them. And sometimes they're really, really encouraging. Sometimes. Sometimes you're, like, insulting my mother for no reason. Yeah. I don't even understand it. So, starting from Did the someone top. someone insult your mother this week? I don't know. I'm no, about to find out. No particular order. This is from Everyone Can Grill. I really wanted to hate the show but kept coming back because you make some really great 
stuff. Hmm. Slowly, like a tick, your show has grown on me to the point of me getting excited to see a new episode pop up. Thanks for the hard work and ring that darn bell. All right, get a ring for that. Who's All that right. guy? There we go. Who is that? That was from Everyone Can Grill. Everyone Can Grill. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, number two. This is really encouraging, actually. This comes from Mark Osteen. He just got a Blackstone a week ago and was looking at videos to get started cooking. I came across CJ's first cooking show and now I've binged all of them like a Netflix, Netflix series. Learning great recipes along uh, with movie quotes has got me hooked and I'm here for it. Great show and great food. Keep up the good work. All right. Wow. We Who's are two, two for two. That is Mark Osteen. Mark. Ah, cheers. Good on you, buddy. Bring it. There we go. Ah, uh, another blessing. This comes from <laughs> Stacy Abbott. Show us the recipe without all the other stuff. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Felicia. Felicia. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Oh, man. I will definitely wow. ring it and bring it wow. for that one. <laughs> Dang it, we are, we're cruising along here. This one comes from Charlie T. Stick with making drinks. Cooking may not be your thing. You put a question mark at the end. Because he's not sure either. Dude, it's great the, the bartender videos. stuff was really fun. You guys should go check it out. But still no bell for you. I snagged this one from your episode. Oh gosh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it seems improper to refer to CJ while filming, seeing as how I can't speak on his show, especially as CJ. I think it's a, I think a servant's name would be a little more in line. Halifax. Call him Halifax. <laughs> Wait, your new name is Halifax? <laughs> yes. uh, ring it on that one. Yeah. Bring it for Halifax. Halifax out. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, so my fiance and I literally just got into an argument about argument about you. He can't stand you. <laughs> <laughs> so I yelled, I love him and I'm gonna watch him with or without you. With, with or without, without you. you. I'm gonna ring it. Yeah. So CJ's first Wait, is that, show is that for, for bringing marriages together all across see? the country. It's about unity. Uh -huh. Just... With that unifying statement said, <laughs> that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for hanging out on CJ's first cooking show, where you can see me make my very first omelet. And not just an omelet, a Southwest omelet. And not just a Southwest omelet. I just had a bite, it's delicious. A gargantuan <laughs> Southwest omelet that almost Abusively didn't make large. it. So for this recipe and a ton of others, be sure to go to blackstoneproducts.com. Uh, go check out Todd's show, Betty's show, Nate's show. But ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't get the word on the street, this is CJ's first cooking show where we cook. And we quote. And we also pass sausage through the little hole at the back like a puck. It's a pro move. Like a hockey puck. It's not